back with another Destiny video. And a couple months ago, I can't remember if it was before or after House of Wolves, but it was a long time ago. I made a video of my Titan build. And now I'm doing an updated one after Taken King came out. So I'm going to go into the exotics and builds that I'd switch around with exotics and crucible. Okay, so for PvE, this is basically what I would use in most situations. A grenade is interchangeable and so is lift. You can use whatever you want for nade or lift. Um, for hammer or soul, I actually use all four of them. It's just pretty situational for me, but I like Forge Master the best. For Sunstrike, Melting Point is alright sometimes. I mean, if you're trying to be more of a team player, I think Melting Point could be really good. Or if you're trying to kill a boss, it could help you too. And then Thermal Vent is my favorite of them. I really don't switch to any of the other ones. Because the sunspot is extremely good and then you can pair that sunspot on thermal fan with another perk that I'm going to show later. Oh, and plus it does AOE damage like discharge on storm fist for striker. Then stroke the forge is kind of more of a crucible scene in my opinion. If you were doing something like the Crotorate and the abyss since it would be a one hit thrall if you're high enough light this could be nice. But... I still don't think it's better than Thermal Vid or Melting Point. Codex is another preference thing, but on all my characters, I like Maximum Recovery and Max Armor. For this tree, this is where the exotics start coming into play. If you bought these, or had them before Zer did, Zer actually sold them after I'm making this video. Or before, yeah, before I made this video. So if you put these on, normally I'd have explosive power on like you see here. But if you have the fist, you can switch to flame seeker or fleet fire. It's up to you. I use both. It's another situational thing. But I prefer fleet fire over flame seeker. Because I don't feel like the tracking really does that much. In my opinion, it'd be more the, for the little extra recovery and agility rather than the seeking hammer. Then this, this is okay if you're one of those people who doesn't like using your super a lot, but if you watch any of my videos, that's not me. Pretty much as soon as I get my super, I pretty much use it. So this didn't really do me much good. Cauterize is my favorite perk in this tree. Enemies brought down by your fire regenerate your health. It really makes the Sunbreaker a tank. Sunbreaker, in my opinion, is kind of like a, almost as tanky as a defender, but it's an offensive instead of a defensive class. Which, if you watch my videos, I always use Defender, like that was my Titan class until Taken King came out. And then Firekeeper's okay if you're using Thermal Vent, but I don't really think you should use Firekeeper unless you're going to use Scorched Earth. Because Scorched Earth, wherever your hammer lies, creates a sunspot. And that compared with Firekeeper with the Overshield, and if you're standing in, your hammer so lasts longer. Can really help you tank. But overall I like Cauterize better than Firekeeper. And by the way, if you don't have these, put on Explosive Pyre. I highly recommend that. It helps your super out a lot. And then there's something else I wanted to show, but I forgot what it was. This is what happens when you don't edit your videos like all those fancy YouTubers. I'm just doing this live and whatever happens, happens. I'm not all fancy like all the other YouTubers where they edit out whenever they make mistakes. Oh yeah. For Firekeeper and Scorched Earth, I like using Red Death because that kind of helps but not having cauterize. And then you get this for DOT damage, plus this, and an Explosive Pyre and Fleet Fire, and Thermal Vent, and your Thermite Grenade. Which can cause a lot of DPS, and make you just basically a tank. And then swords are really nice with this too, because you can go in with your sword, and then if you start getting wounded, you can throw a nade, or go into your super if you have it, and you're basically, as long as you can kill something, you're going to survive. So that's another really fun thing to do. I see a lot of people use the Night Stalker and then go in with the sword. But I'd rather throw a Thermite 
and then go in there with my sword and then hammer and clean out a wound just like that. But that's just me. And then I'm not really going to do Striker because I already did them in other videos. And plus I used to play on Xbox but now I play on PS4 so neither one of these are leveled up. So I'm not even going to worry about that. But I ended up getting a year or two Red Death and I actually kind of like it in most situations because since they did that pulse rifle buff a couple months ago, it's pretty beast in PvE and then the health regen really helps the Sunbreaker in my opinion. And here's an instance where I find Scorched Earth really useful, like I love soloing the Crota Raid. If you're using Forge Master or Sun Charge, you can try and throw the hammer. There's too much of a delay, Crota Shield will regen so you can't down it with the hammer. But if you put on Scorched Earth, then it sends a death DOT, it'll keep his shield from regenerating, and you can down him with your hammer or soul, just like all the Warlocks through Radiance and Fusion needs. And then if you put on Fire Keeper, and you run up there, and the sun spots right in front of him, you're going to get an overshield that's going to tank all the damage that you take while sorting him. That's just another example of how that can come into play. And then I think this build would be nice for hard mode quota if you guys even still do that. Because between the wed death for the health regen and then all the overshields, your health's going to be all the way up most of the time as long as you can get a kill. So that's basically my sunbreaker. And if you guys want, I can do a video of like guns, other guns and stuff that I'd recommend. If you guys have any requests, you can just put them in the comments and... If I can do anything with it, I will. Alright, see you guys in the next video.